Welcome to Land the House. I'm Seth. This is my tiny house that I started building in 2014. Today should be a fun video. We are going to be hooking up the battery to the inverter and we're going to do solar to the charge controller, which will also go to the battery. And I'm going to put a 180 watt panel outside. So stay tuned as we get all of this stuff done and hopefully get power out here in the tiny house. The first thing I want to do is mount this little box for a breaker. And that's where the solar power is going to come into. I'll have an on off breaker that will just be mounted right here. And from this, it's going to go down to the charge controller. So let's go ahead and get this up here on the wall. I believe I'm going to get this right here. Should look pretty good. No need to cinch these screws down too much because it's just a little plastic box up here on the wall. This is the little breaker I'm going to put in here. It's a 400 volt and we'll do uh, 4,500 amps. So just going to get that up in here. We may be uh, bringing that back down in a moment. And then this lid is going to go on that also. So um, anyway, that's just a precaution. We can turn off the solar from inside if we need to, especially if I know it's going to be really cold. I don't want my batteries to be uh, damaged in the cold. I just flip that off and uh, stop everything. I bought 30 feet of the red and black solar wire. It's got the MC4 connectors on one side and then it's just bare on the other. And so what I want to do now is put a hole uh, into my wall. I'm thinking I can go just somewhere right in here and then uh, I need to have a big enough hole that this half inch conduit can go through that. And so, Let's go ahead and uh, use the bit to get that hole made. First, I'm just going to use a regular drill bit to go through here, and then we'll go on the other side and drill through. That should have gone through both sides. Let's go out there and find out. Looks like we're right here. So I've got a uh, 7 8 paddle bit or spade bit. Hopefully this is going to work through this concrete board. All right, it's pretty straightforward. I've cut a small piece of conduit and I've got the LB box on the back side. So I'm just going to uh, use some PVC cement here to put this little threaded piece on. That's basically just going to uh, keep this to the wall, or at least in theory. Hey, may have to hold something back there. There's the front door of the tiny house. And here is the majority of my open sky for the solar panel, which means I need this panel to be somewhere right in here. So I've got 30 foot of this solar wire and I've got 30 foot of conduit. So we need to go from about right here and go down through the conduit along the building and then up into the tiny house right there. So let's go ahead and stretch these out so that we can get them where we need them. So let's put one there. And it looks like we may get by with only using about 20 foot here. So that will be good. This 10 gauge solar wire is pretty flexible. So I'm going to start feeding it through the conduit and I'm just gonna do one section at a time and then I'll glue it together. This is gonna be a very short run. So hopefully we don't have any issues doing it this way. All right, I'm going to make a 90 to go up to the tiny house here. So uh, care to make a guess at uh, how much 30 feet of half inch conduit was with a, uh, a 90 and then uh, that LV box. Yeah, $53. I was blown away at how expensive it was. Did not expect that. Now, of course, the hardware store I was buying from is always expensive, but I was not prepared for that kind of expensive. I mean, those things should have been like $3 a piece instead of 13. I 
I sure hope I gave myself enough of this wire. I'm not sure what I'll do if I didn't. There we go. It's looking pretty good. I've got the red and the black wires into the tiny house now. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed this red one down into the box for the breaker. Okay, there we go. And now I can snap that into place. Now we'll have to take a wire from the bottom of this around to the charge controller. Um, but for the meantime, I'm also going to wrap around the black wire and get it connected here. So I need to get some of the sheathing off of that. I've got a small piece of 10 gauge wire with the red sheathing. I'm going to put that here on the bottom. Here we go, nice and tight. Now these can cinch down, but I don't think it's gonna quite lock down a 10 gauge. It's close. This up here may actually lock down on that solar. If anything, it'll just keep some bugs out. All right, nice. Very nice. Last thing I have time for today is to get the cover on this breaker. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick. There we go, two screws is plenty for that. There we go, so that is power from outside. We've got the solar coming in from right here, goes up the wall, the black circles around to the charge controller here, and then the red goes through a breaker. And so the next step is going to be putting the two wires right here into the uh, charge controller. And that will just go right along here and go to the positive negative of the battery. And then check this out. I was able to get some four aught cable. Stuff is uh, pretty serious. And hopefully we can manage to get that uh, from the terminals of the battery up here to this uh, inverter. And uh, then the last thing we have to do is hook up back over here to the uh, power out. And we should be uh, able to power things on here in the tiny house. Super excited. A slight change of plans. I decided to purchase two changeover switches. Let me show you what those are gonna do here. So I've already got the first one pretty well wired up. So basically the uh, solar is coming in from up here. It goes through my breaker and then the uh, two wires go into the changeover switch right here. So it's got a position one, zero, and two. So zero is off. That would be uh, one side and then the other side. So basically what this can do is if it's on one, it will send power over to the MPPT charge controller which will then charge the battery and then be able to operate this inverter here. But if you turn it over to two, it will come straight out to the Anderson plug down here and that can charge up a power station from the solar. So basically it just moves the solar, uh, a single input down to two different outputs 
based on this switch. So these switches are interesting. They've got uh, eight different pins back here. And I'm gonna have a dedicated video on how I wired this up on the channel as well, but it won't be one of the tiny house uh, videos. So anyway, I'm gonna get this second one installed to do something different. Um, so this will charge a power station on this one. And then I'm gonna have another one somewhere. I don't where I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet, but it will take the power from the breaker box, which is this, and either go to the inverter or it'll go down to the uh, power station. So basically one of these is gonna have a single input to two outputs. The other one's gonna have uh, two inputs to a single output. So kind of reversed, but I wanna go ahead and test out this switch before I get it locked down here. Um, so what I want to do is go outside, hook up the solar panel, and then we'll test voltage on these terminals here and then those right down there. This is a 180 watt solar panel from Bogue RV. And so later on, I will come back and make a little mount for this. But for now, I just simply want to get this plugged up so we can get some voltage out of it, hopefully. So let me go ahead and get these cables connected here. I've got the breaker turned off in the tiny house, so that shouldn't do anything at the moment. Now the sun is basically gone right now, but hopefully we can still get something out of this. So thing number one, turn on the panel from outside. Uh, I've got my multimeter right here. Uh, so I got that. So now I can turn this over to two and hopefully if we turn this to voltage, we can see something in this plug here. Yeah, so 23 volts there. And now if I flip this to zero, we should see nothing on it. We've got 55 millivolt. And if we flip this over to that, nice. The charge controller just kicked on right here that it's getting some sun. So, all right, well that thing is working as it should. Let's go ahead and turn that off. And that should uh, drop out here in a second. There we go, nice. So this switch is working as it should. It's taken me several hours to get the rest of this system wired up and I think it is working quite well. So let me show you what all I've done without you and uh, we'll kind of walk through the different things here in the tiny house. So last time I think I left you, we had uh, just gotten this little switch right here installed and that basically says solar power is coming into the charge controller and charging this battery. Right now we've got, uh, hopefully you can see that, six or seven watts because the sun's gone down. Um, so this part is working. Solar comes in to this breaker uh, right here, then comes down to this switch, which says either charge the MPPT charge controller or go down here so you can charge up a power station. So I can do one or the other. Um, so for right now, it's uh, send it over here to this MPPT, which is then charging up this battery. I need to put an extra support up under here. Um, probably just put a board right there, I guess, because um, that's got some pressure on it. Um, so anyway, uh, the battery, I use those two uh, one foot long cables. Uh, and then, so this wire right here comes out of the charge controller and uh, charges the battery. So the inverter is wired up there. And of course we've got the switch that we installed. Uh, so anyway, uh, up here, the inverter goes to another switch, which I can either say, um, go to the inverter uh, or from the inverter to here and then to the panel, or I can swap this over and go to a uh, power station. So basically this can have two inputs, the power station or the inverter that feeds down to the panel. I hope that makes sense. Got 10 watts coming in. Uh, so now we've got power. So we can turn the lights on and we'll have to go get a power station real quick and test out with that as well. But uh, everything should be good to go. Got power out here. Go ahead and turn 
those off. Uh, then go up here. This should be working just fine. Very nice. That's really cool to see. <laughs> I've been waiting on this step for a long time. Um, so let me go get a power station real quick and we will try swapping over the uh, two switches here. Um, this one and this one. I know it looks kind of like a mess up there, but pretty much anything I do with electricity is kind of messy. But anyway, uh, we will wind these cords up later and keep them up and out of the way and maybe it won't look too bad. Let's see, we've got 2% load right now. And uh, once, one nice thing is that you can uh, click this right here and see we've got 13.1 uh, volts on the battery and then 20.9 uh, volts on the panel, 0.6 amp. So yeah, anyway. Um, that's pretty cool. I just brought the power station down here to give this a test. So let's first of all, turn off the inverter. Okay, so the power is off there, uh, but we're still getting some power in from the panel. So I can go up here and turn that off. So the inverter, uh, basically nothing is feeding the panel right now. I plug this in here. Turn the AC on. Very good. And so now I should be able to turn this over and the power will come back on. Nice, so that uh, changeover switch is working just fine. It's got eight watts on it. So this should be close to 16 there. Yeah, 15. Very cool. Well. That seems to be working. Uh, so we got nine watts there. I can click this. It'll stop the power going in. So now I can plug this up. I just got the Anderson. Okay. And now if I turn this that way, we should see a watt or two, that came on. One watt. <laughs> One watt, okay. Yes, that is working. Solar is now hitting this power station. So everything that I've installed up here seems to be working properly. Uh, as far as cable management goes, I'll tuck this thing out of the way somewhere. Um, this will be rolled up when not powering a power station. This will be rolled up when not pulling power from a power station. And then all of this, I don't know. I'll see what I'll do with that, but I may just keep it where it is. Um, so yeah, I may buy, I noticed this uh, Dr. Prepare battery has dropped down some. Um, so I may uh, buy another one of those, but I think I'll add a little support board under here and uh, keep that up. But anyway, there you go, it's working. Thank you so much for watching this tiny house video. I did a lot of work without you, I know, and I apologize for that. It took about four hours to get this right here wired up and about three to get this one wired up. Uh, this one right here had, um, what, three wires that are um, uh, 10 gauge and one was this extension cord so it was easier to work with. And this one I used a couple of smaller wires uh, so it wasn't quite as hard to work with, but still a huge pain to get that thing wired up. Um, so anyway, did all that without you. Uh, whenever the power station is full, it uh, stops charging off of the solar there. Uh, but anyway, um, leave your comments down below on what you think about this system. It's working so far. I like it. I think I will be doubling the battery right here, but as long as I've got a power station like this Jackery here, you can run stuff in this tiny house for a very long time. I'm back out here at night. I wanted to see what the lights look like here in the tiny house. So let me go ahead and flip on the inverter. Let's see what we get here. All right, there's one light on. So the bulbs that I have are uh, 
that yellow color. Not the best for filming, but we can at least see uh, how bright it is in here at nighttime. I may uh, get some of those bulbs that are um, the white color instead of this yellow. But Okay, so here we go. Let me just kind of zoom around so you can see how bright things are here at night. Not too bad. A little dark over in this corner, but you know, not bad at all. So let's step up here and turn on the lights. So of course it's dark now, but we can turn on all six of these. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Definitely uh, happy to have the power on out here. So I guess my next task is going to be getting the uh, tongue and groove up here. I'll have to go buy some more for uh, down here because all of this is using the six inch stuff. And so I've got the little bits here above the, uh, the bathroom spot and then all this right here. And then lastly, uh, the back wall, which it won't take much because this right here is only, I don't know, a few feet. So I'll probably use uh, one full piece across there and then bring this up and over. I think that's what I did over here. Yeah, I just brought it up and over right there. So anyway, uh, then we've got to clean up all the mess and I'll need to talk to a couple of companies and see if they will send me a composting toilet to review. We can put that in here. Uh, it'll take up hopefully less space in that corner. And then we can put in a little shower over here. I don't know if it'll ever be used, but I think it would be fun to uh, put a hot water heater in here and just make this thing uh, a real tiny house. Got the one light up there. I remember that I put one outlet over there. That's good. Um, anyway, it's cool stuff. I'm going to repaint the door. Let's go outside and check out the lights out there. Let's turn those off for a bit. Uh, so I, one of these lights does the lower. I think that's the upper right there. So I've only got one bulb out here on the upper section. And then uh, you can click the other one here. Does all the lower lights. So I've got two on the front, one on each side. The back, I only put one light and that's uh, up top, which we won't be able to see here. But anyway, it's up top there. So cool, yeah. All the lights in this place are working, which is nice. Flip those off. We'll flip one of those and just leave that right there on. Yeah, so anyway, I wonder if we can find out battery level here. Yeah, 13.0, 13.1, so it's still got a decent bit there. It'll need to be charged fully in the sun to the 14, whatever it's going to go to. Anyway, leave it on watts there. All right, nice. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth with Land the House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.